What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to your second unboxing of the day. My name's Stu. This is Super Unboxing. Uh, fantastic to have you back here for a second time today. And not just a uh, second video of the day, also a second helping of the amazing mystery box. Oh yes, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, check out my uh, video from earlier today. I'll leave a link uh, up here somewhere, up here somewhere, wherever, somewhere around there. Um, that was the September Amazing Mystery Box. Uh, decent value once again, as always, with the Amazing Mystery Box. Stuff in there, still a little bit dated for my liking, but had some nice items in it. Uh, had also some um, uh, old, outdated items, but uh, check it out and see what you think. Now, this is uh, a box, a special edition box, which has just been released. It's called a um, Gaming No T shirt box. So, obviously, you can pretty much self explanatory, you can pretty much tell what's going to be in the box gaming items and uh, no t shirt. Who would have thought? Um, apparently just have eight items in here, uh, very light, so uh, I'm not really sure what sort of items we've got in here, but so we'll have to see, it's usually decent value, hopefully some nice gaming items, not all from game, ancient games from years ago, there'll actually be some current stuff in here, we hope, it's the same 24 99 price point they always do for their special edition boxes and they do for their monthly boxes, so that's the value we're looking to make up. Um, I don't hold out much hope that this is not going to be all um, years old stuff from games that no one's played or seen for years, but we shall see. I still wait for that month when they surprise me, so who knows. Right, let's get the first item. It's not a t-shirt, but something soft. What have we got here? Oh, okay, so we've got a uh, cap. Um, and it is. Oh, that is nice. Take a look at that. Look, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's hat. That is pretty cool. There's the uh, design on there. Uh, that is very nice. I've never actually seen uh, any Five Nights at Freddy's um, hats before, so that's pretty cool. Official product as well. Uh, that is very nice. Um, let's try it on. Oh yes. I think it needs to be a bit loose, looser than anything. I think. There we go. Awesome. No, doesn't suit me at all, does it? Okay, so that is a nice hat. I like that. Um, official hat. You usually looking around about ten quid for a lot of official hats. Okay, next item we have got uh, Legend of Zelda collector tag plus uh, decal and tattoo. Ooh, I saw it. So there we go. Legend of Zelda. Let's get this open and see what we've got on here. And we have got. Oh, okay, so we've got a little. Um, like a dog tag. Which is broken. <laughs> okay, so we've got a uh, dog tag. Which would have been very nice. Uh, looks very nice indeed. And then uh, chain in two places. Awesome. So this is not exactly the sort of thing you can fix either. So uh, that's unfortunate, <laughs> to say the least. So that's just snapped off. So okay, uh, loads of different ones you could could have got in there. Uh, maybe they'd all been broken as well. Stickers and uh, tattoos. So that wouldn't have been a bad item. If that wasn't broken. That's quite a nice item. Um, obviously now it has no value whatsoever. Um, I can get onto them and they'll probably send me another one out, so that's not a problem really. Value for those, probably only going to be about three quid, something like that, do you think? Let's say about three pound for that. Zero value, obviously, I understand that because it's broken, but if it wasn't broken, it'd be worth about three quid, I would say. Okay, item number three, and of course we're going to get some socks, and it's more Five Nights at Freddy's merchandise. So, let's have a look here. Some brown socks. That is some interesting shade of brown. Uh, what's that sort of brown? Almost like diarrhea brown. <laughs> um, let's get them open up anyway. Let's have a proper look. So there we go. Look, we got the ears sewn on either side. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Um, what size are these? Adult size, are they? UK size seven and a half to eleven and a half. So yep. So they're adult socks. Um, brown socks. And this colour brown socks, not really sure I'd wear those, but um, 
I say, there's another Five Nights at Freddy's um, item, so that's uh, decent enough. Five pound value for those as well. So, apart from the broken uh, dog tag, it's uh, not been a bad start. So let's see what we get for the next item. Okay, so this is probably going to come in handy for when the cold weather is starting to kick in. Uh, it's a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so mm, yeah. Beanie hat, we've got to call it. Here we go. So there's the design on that. There we go. Got to give this a try, haven't we? What do you think? <laughs> what is my hat? Does look absolutely ridiculous on me. Makes my face look even fatter than normal. <laughs> See me? No. Okay, so there it is, off my head. Looks a bit ridiculous. Probably look better on your head, I'm sure. Uh, it's obviously Advanced Warfare. I'm not really up on Call of Duty, I have to say, but I don't think this is a current game. I'm sure that Advanced War Warfare was a few years ago, but it's a nice enough hat. It's official. Uh, it's decent quality. i would probably say since it's fairly old, it's, you're looking around about a fiver for that. But if you're into Call of Duty, that's a nice hat for you. Okay, moving on. What have we got next? Uh, we have a wallet, and what on earth is this one? Let's have a look. What is this then? Oh, it's uh, Call of Duty <laughs> again. Uh, so Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Was that what we just had there? Oh, Advanced Warfare. Infinite Warfare this time. Is that further on than Advanced Warfare? I would have thought so. I don't know. Again, it's a nice item. It's a nice wallet. Um. Depends on just it'll bother you if it's a like an older an older title. But if you just want a wa uh, wallet with a nice design on, then that is a very nice wallet. Uh, good quality as well, I think. So usually I'd say these sort of wallets you'd be looking around about ten quid, but the fact that this is probably a few years old, um, I don't know what I'll say about a fiver for it, but I say it may still be ten quid, but I'll say about a fiver for that still for now. Uh, next item Oh, joyful, we've got a filler item. Uh, oh, it's Connect, so plants versus zombies. So that's what we've got in here. Uh, let's get that ripped open. Okay, let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh my god, it's got loads of it. Okay, so that's what it looks like uh, when it's built. It's a decent enough little figure. It's more of a throwaway item, but it's not bad. Um, it's got a Lego style figure. It'll be quite popular with your kids, I'm sure. Um, get a couple of balls to put in here as well. Look. Put those into the mouth and then pull this. <laughs> okay, and it flies across the room. We'll find out another time. And there's the other one there. So uh, let's, get that, let's get rid of that one as well. There we go. They're gone. Be gone with you. So that's quite decent. Uh, kids will have lots of fun with that tomorrow, I'm sure. So um, that's not bad at all. Uh, again, around about what? Four quid? Maybe a three ninety nine item or something, I think. Let's say about four quid for that. Okay, and the next item, item number seven, I believe, and it's Call of Duty again. Dear me, I do love Call of Duty in here. So it started off really well, I think, with the Five Nights of Freddy stuff, and the hat was really nice for the first item. It seems to be tailing off a little bit, I have to say. Too much Call of Duty stuff in my liking. Uh, it's a solid metal um, keyring. Make it face the right way. Here we go probably mean more to you than it does to me as I'm not uh, much of a player of Call of Duty yeah there you go that's a decent enough key ring say around about um, three pound value for that okay and the final item um, item number eight and by looks of it saving the best items will last we've got a Super Mario uh, large figure collection and we've got Cooper Trooper there he is it says 9 99 in the top corner up there as well Probably round about that figure, I'd say. Uh, it's got a group picture on the back there. I presume of all different ones you could get. Uh, it's a nice enough one with Cooper Trooper. Personally, me, I would rather have had someone like Mario, Luigi, Bowser, uh, Yoshi, someone like that. Uh, Cooper Trooper's okay, but not really one that I would want to keep. So, um, yeah, it's decent enough. It's a nice item. Um, there he is. I shan't take it out of the box simply because of the fact I don't know if I'll keep it or not. Or I may gift it on or give it as a present to someone. Uh, Christmas present maybe. So um, I'll keep that in the box and not open that up. But you can pretty much see everything. You can see it on there anyway. It's a nice figure. If you do Mario, it's a decent figure. 
Um, I'd say around about eight pound value for that. Probably on eBay or something like that. You probably pick it up at eight quid. So let's say about eight pound for that. Okay, so that is everything in the box, I believe. Yep, the box is empty. So that has been the um, gaming new T-shirt special edition box from the Amazing Mystery Box. Uh, we'll have a look through and add up the value in a minute. But uh, first of all, let's have a quick recap of all the items we've got in today's box. Five Nights at Freddy's Snapback Cap. Five Nights at Freddy's Socks. Legend of Zelda Broken Dog Tag. Call of Duty Beanie. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Wallet. Plants vs Zombies Blind Bag. Call of Duty Keychain. Super Mario Large Figure Collection Koopa Trooper. Okay, so that was the Amazing Mystery Box Gaming No T-Shirt Special Edition Box. Uh, remember this came in at £24.99. Uh, value for this particular box. Difficult with some of the items because some, some of the items are sort of older games and stuff which are, could possibly mean the uh, value of the items is cheaper but or might of course make them um, harder to get hold of. But we'll give it a go and um, we'll say about £10 for the Five Nights at Freddy's um, Snapback Cap. Uh, £10 for the Super Mario figure, so that's 20 5 for the socks, that's 25 uh, I would say about 3 quid for the key ring, uh, so that's 28 about th 3 quid let's say for the um, Plants vs Zombies, so that is 31 um, This is obviously broken, so it's got no value, but if it wasn't broken, again, I'd say about 3 quid, so that's 34 um, We've got the um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare wallet. Usually these sort of wallets would get anything between like 10 and 15 pounds, but I'm still thinking that since it's Infinite Warfare, it might be a bit cheaper. But again, between 5 and 10 pounds for that, I would say. So getting on towards 40 quid with that in there. And also um, we've got the beanie as well. Again, between like 5 and 10 pounds. So we could be getting anything up to about um, between like 40 and 50 pounds, the value of the box. So once again, with the Amazing Mystery Box, the value is there, as it always is. Always around about double the value of the box. Um... This is all sort of stuff that I would desperately try and get a hold of as a game in, inside a gaming box. Not really. Um, same sort of feeling you always seem to get from the Amazing Mystery Box. I said it in the last video as well. Um, the value is always there. Definitely one of the highest value boxes you'll get. Uh, even if, if it's a monthly box or a special edition box, they always seem to get double value. But again, some of the stuff in here is like old stuff that not many people are still going to want. But if you're still in, mad into, madly keen on um, Call of Duty and you don't particularly care what game it says on the front of the hat or on the wallet, this is perfect for you. So that is pretty much it for today's box. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you give the uh, video a like. Also, if you're new here or you're not subscribed, then consider clicking on that subscribe button for more unboxing content like this. And also click on your notification bell so you're notified when those new videos are released, which is every single day. And also, most importantly, comment down below. I'd really be interested to hear what you think of the items in this box. Do you think it's a bit of a blowout? Again, I always feel bad about criticising the Maze of Mystery Box because they give you so much value for money. But all the items always leave me a little bit flat. And there's nothing particularly exciting for me here. I like, I like new and current things. I like stuff from games that have just been released um, and not older games which have been out for a while. Because that always then feels like it's leftover stock that didn't sell a few years ago that they've picked up on the cheap. That's what it always feels like to me in these boxes. But maybe you'll think differently. If you love Call of Duty, you love Five Nights at Freddy's, you don't mind which, which Mario figure you've got, then fantastic. Go out and buy this box. It's still available. You can still get it on their website. I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to go and pick this up. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>